What's up guys, welcome to Geo's Diecast. Today we're gonna to be opening up the new Fast and the Furious Premium set. We got the Mr. Bishi Eclipse, the Nissan S14, the Nissan Skyline R33 GTR, the Nissan Skyline R34 GTR, and the Acura NSX. So starting off with number one, the Mr. Bishi Eclipse. This is my favorite car from the Fast and the Furious franchise. And look at the card art, really nice. You got the black wheels. Now for me, I think they should have went gray, just like the, the other premium they had on this casting of the Eclipse. I don't really like how they added the black wheels. I think they should have just put gray wheels on it to make it accurate to the movie car. Cause the movie car never had black wheels on it. It does look cool, something different, but I'm definitely gonna be wheel swapping all these cars to gray wheels, but it looks really detailed. Let's open it up and get a closer look at it. All right guys, so here it is, the Fast and the Furious Eclipse. You got nice detailing in the front. You got nice detailing with the taillights in the back. And you got the license plate. You got sparkle on the side skirt and Toyo tires on the fender. It looks really nice. The black makes this look really bold, which is really cool. The black wheels don't look too bad, but I just prefer the gray ones, but this looks really nice with the black wheels. Because of the hood, you got the hood black, the wing, and then the wheels, it makes the green look very bold, which is really cool. But let me know in the comments what you guys think about the black wheels on this set. But let's open up the next one. All right, second on the list is the Nissan 240 SX S14. This is Letty's S14, and look at the detailing going on. Really nice. Let's open it up and get a closer look at it. Here it is, the S14. Wow, this looks really different when you have it out of the packaging. You can really see the, it's like a burgundy, a burgundy color. You got detailing in the front and rear. Look at that license plate, that's crazy. Look at that, look at the detail in the license plate. Really nice, really like this color. Moving on to number three. Number three is the Nissan Skyline R33 GTR. This is the popular scene in Fast and the Furious 1 where he tells the pizza boy, the streets closed, find another way home. and check out the card art i think this is the best looking one for the card art because you got a lot of yellow going around and then the yellow r33 and it looks really nice in the background i think this is the best the best one for like having the background and everything on the background and then the car's yellow it really looks nice you got the black wheels not bad it really makes this yellow pop with the black wheels really cool but i'm gonna change it to silver i want to I want to make it accurate to the movie car or maybe put even chrome but i think the silver would look really nice on this car let's open it up and take a closer look at it here it is the r33 skyline looks really nice look at the side detail the front and the back I really like how they added the greedy in the back. You got the yellow metal base, which is pretty cool. All the other cars have a black metal base, something different on this car. And I'm really glad they brought this, this car back, the Leon's R33 GTR. Really looks nice, but I'm definitely gonna wheel swap this. It looks good with the black wheels, makes the, color, makes the yellow really pop. Let's move on to number four. Number four, the Nissan Skyline R34 GTR. This is probably gonna be the most popular car on the set. I think the most popular ones are gonna be the R34 Skyline and the Mr. Bishi Eclipse. These two are gonna be the hottest cars that people are gonna be looking for in the set. But here it is, 
the Skyline R34. Such a nice car, really nice casting. And I really like the license plate. If you look at the license plate, it says 2F2F03, which means too fast, too furious. And then 03 is the year that too fast, too furious came out. Really like the detailing and the license plate. And then the stripe in the hood, you can see that there's like a fade. It like fades in the middle when it goes up and then it turns solid, which is really nice. Really like the detailing because even the real car had that little fade uh, on the stripe, which is really cool. But let's open it up and take a closer look at it and see what it looks like. There it is, R34 Skyline. Look at the light, look at the headlights. Really nice detailing. We got Toyota, Sparco, KNS on the hood. And then here, here you can actually see the fade really nice right here. You can see the, the, the fade on the stripe when it goes up and then it turns really dark blue, really nice. You got the iconic side stripes and then the license plate. I think the license plate is really sick. 2F, 2F, 03. That is really nice that they added that. Let's move on to number five. The last car in the set is the Acura NSX. Now I think this car is out of place with the rest of the cars because all the other cars are from the first movie. And then you got the NSX. I don't even remember where this car appeared. I don't know. I, I don't know if it was, I don't even know what part this car appeared on. Leave it in the comments if you guys remember what number this car appeared in. But it looks nice. I love the Acura NSX. I love the detail that's going on. You got the front headlight detailing and rear detailing on the taillights. But I don't know. I think instead of adding this to the mix with the rest of the cars, I think they should have brought back the Jetta. I think the Jetta would have been a really nice comeback or even add Dom's RX-7. That would have been another good car to add into the mix. Or even his Charger, the Dodge Charger. That would have been another good one. But I feel like this car is just out of place. I don't know. It doesn't really go with the theme with the other cars. But it's an Acura NSX and it's really nice. Got the nice metallic silver. Let's open it up. But I don't know. I think this car is just, it's kind of weird how they just randomly added the NSX. I think it would have been really nice to see the Jetta come back. But here it is, the Acura NSX. Now, when it's in the blister, it looks dark, but when you take it out, it's actually it's actually a bright silver. But that's why I like opening up my cars. I don't like keeping them in the blister. Because when you open them up, you can really see the color. And having them in the blister, it just hides all the details. Like, you can really see the details on the car. I know there's some people out there that like to keep their cars carded. And for me, I like to have a set carded and a other set to open. And I was lucky enough to actually find two sets of the Fast and Furious Premiums in the wild. I found it at Target and I was lucky enough to get two sets. But yeah, the NSX is really nice, but that's it. This is the last car in the set. Another premium I wanna open up is another Fast and the Furious Premium. Here is the Fast and the Furious Ford Lightning. It's so cool on the door. It actually says the Racer's Edge. That's such a cool detail that they actually put that. And you got detailing in the front and rear. And I think this should also been another car that they should have put instead of the NSX. They could have also put the Ford Lightning in again and probably, I don't know, change up the wheels. Instead of chrome, put gray. But this is another cool one that I want to open to match with the other cars. But just to let you guys know, this is not a part of the set. This is a whole different set. If you look in the back, this is what's in the set. The GNX, the Pontiac, the Dodge Charger, and the Nova. So that's what's in this set. But just didn't want to confuse this truck with the other set. But let's open it up. Here it is, the Ford Lightning. That is so cool, look at that. The Racer's Edge. Here's the rear. 
can actually see the Ford logo right there on the bottom right. There's the bed. And you got the front detailing, really nice looking truck. This is gonna go really well with the set I just opened. Another car I wanna open is the R34 Skyline. I was gonna open up this anyway, so I might as well add it to the video since I'm opening up these other cars. But here it is, the R34 Skyline in the Liberty Walk body kit. And then it's so cool that it says the Liberty Walk. It has the Liberty Walk logo actually on the, on the transporter. Then look, you got like the T, the TE37s style wheel on the transporter. That is so cool. Really nice. Let's open it up. Here it is, the R34 Skyline GTR and the Liberty Walk kit. This is so cool. I really like how it, I like how it's all blacked out in the back and then they kind of take the stripes and then it fades into the red. Really cool. Here it is off the trailer. Got a big Liberty Walk stamp right there in the splitter. This is a huge splitter that it has on. Number 11, you got Nissan, a Nissan banner. And look at that really nice detailing on the on the spoiler nissan check out how aggressive this diffuser is this is a really big diffuser in the back and you got a roll cage i don't know if you guys can see it there's actually a roll cage it's black it's a blacked out roll cage on this one this roll cage is actually yellow you're able to see that one but it's pretty cool how much detail there is on this car and this is very heavy. This is a this is a heavy Hot Wheel. Let's take a look at the transporter now. Love the detail that's going on. I love the tie rack. This is so cool. The tie rack, and then you can see the tr there's a you can actually see the tread on the tire. I love how they added that the the tie rack. I think that's so cool. Advan, really nice. Well, that is it. Let's put the cars together now. All right, guys, so here's the lineup of cars we just opened. So I'm going to be putting my Fast and the Fear set in my big display case. I haven't filled it up yet. I still got more cars to fill in, but here's what I have so far. But I have a Mark IV Supra and then the Dodge Charger. And then here's the Ford Lightning. This is the main line. And here is the premium. So here's the difference. This is a little bit. Uh, this is more of a dark red. This is more of a bright red, but this is going to replace that Ford Lightning. And I wanna fill this road just full of Fast and the Furious cars. So I'm gonna be putting in the Fast and the Furious set and my display case. All right guys, so here are the cars in the case now and check out the lineup. Now we finally got a row of Fast and the Furious cars. The only cars I would wish to add in here is the Jetta and then the Premium RX-7 to really complete the Fast and the Furious row. But here's my display case. I got a couple wheel swappers, like here's a wheel swap Skyline and R35. And then here's the Mountain Drifter AE86. Here's another AE86. These are all wheel swappers right here. And we got the Treasure Hunt Subaru. I still gotta fill up the case with more cars, but this is what I got so far. We got some transporters on top. We got the JDM section in the middle. And then on the bottom, I just want all the Target exclusive cars on the bottom. And then we got the C8 matching right here back to back. This is the first video on the channel, so you guys will be expecting to see a lot of hunting videos and a lot of opening videos like this video. So if you guys like that type of content, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell right next to the subscribe button so you guys won't miss out on any future videos I upload. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys next time.